If you are an overthinker, a constant worrier, someone who just feels stressed and frazzled all the time, this video is for you. When we think about abundance, right? We think about material items, we think about wealth, we think about money, we think about investments, we think about all those things, right? God wants you to have those things. Now, I'm not gonna go into that in this specific video, but I will link a video here and at the end that'll talk about all about why and how God does want you to be wealthy. What I wanna talk about in this video, to give you some peace, to give you a way to just breathe and relax, is talk about all of the other abundances that God gives us. You know, when we look at the Bible, abundance has a much deeper, more profound meaning than just those material possessions. And I think that we get so caught up in the day to day in our in our daily lives and rushing around and, and making money and paying bills and taking care of everyone and trying to take care of ourselves that we kind of forget. You know, I mean, I certainly do. <laughs> so let's talk about the other ways abundance can consume us and make us feel good and, and be in our lives. And also when we feel that way, it will bring in the other types of abundance such as money and wealth, okay? Like there is a correlation there. So let's talk about it. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I talk about all things spirituality, God, emotional intelligence, and anything really just to uplift your life, make you feel happy and make you feel good. So the first aspect that we see of abundance in the Bible is God's love and grace. In Palm 1038, it says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. This is basically like God's love is abundant, right? It is never ending. It never has a finish line, right? It is all encompassing if we allow it to be. It is overflowing, it is not limited, it is, there, there's no stop to it, okay? And if we can just set aside our worries, right? and just let that love wash over us, that in itself, if you take nothing else away from this video, that in itself should bring you at least just a little bit of relief and peace. You know, sometimes it's very easy to forget those things. And that is like the biggest thing to forget, but you know, we're human and sometimes it happens. Okay, let's talk about, let's talk about blessings, right? Like <laughs> so many things in our life are blessings that we just take for granted. And God just pours all of these blessings into us. And sometimes we don't even notice. You know, the Bible tells us that God blesses us abundantly and that he desires to bless us even more. Like why wouldn't he, right? Like we are his children. Of course he wants to bless us, right? Like duh. <laughs> In Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, why is that such a hard word to say? Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. 28, 11 to 12, it says, and the Lord will make you abound in prosperity. Okay, prosperity. In the fruit of your womb and in the fruit of your livestock and in the fruit of your ground within the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all of the work of your hands. All right, so like God wants to bless us, right? In all these different areas, including prosperity, including financially. Again, it's not that they are limited to these material possessions, but it just transcends those, right? Like those things matter for now, while we're here on earth for now, but there is so much more to our existence than just this particular human life. You know, he wants to extend those blessings, not only to us, but to our work, to our families, to our loved ones, and to even people that we don't personally know that we see on the street, right? Have that awareness that this abundance and these blessings are all around us, okay? They're in this house that I'm in right now. They're in the internet that you're watching me on or listening to me through. They're the food that you consume every day that we take for granted because a lot of times it feels like it's all around us that we don't even take the time to think about how incredible it is every time we eat, right? Or drink water. Now, I wanna talk about this other aspect of abundance that is seen in the Bible because I feel like it's not talked about a lot and I feel like it potentially could be the most important part. 
and that is wisdom and knowledge because again the bible tells us that god wants to give us those things like he wants to give us that wisdom he wants to give us that knowledge in james 1 5 it says if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask god who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given him okay all you have to do is ask you just have to ask god for direction for wisdom for knowledge for answers right and they might not always be the answers that we desire but the thing is is he sees the big picture and we just see this little little dot okay we don't see the big picture and so even though the answer or the the wisdom that he gives us might not be what we are desiring that doesn't mean we won't look back in a year, five, 10, 20 years and say, oh, that makes sense now. Whoa, this little fruit flies, sorry. <laughs> you know, like how many times in your life have you wanted something, not gotten it, and then later on been like, oh, thank you. And been so appreciative and so happy that things didn't go your way. Okay, so why in this moment with whatever's going on in your life when something is seemingly not going your way, why are you stressing about it? You've been here before, you've done this before. Lean back, relax, and trust, okay? Because God always has each one of our best interests at heart. And he knows, we don't know, he knows. You know, the more that we seek God, the more that we communicate with him and pray and and have our bodies and our mind and our spirits open to receiving him, the more we will gain this wisdom and knowledge from him, right? And I don't know about you guys, but I go through phases with it, right? Like I will seek him so, oops, <laughs> so hard for such a long time that it's just all encompassing, right? And then life starts to kind of show up and get in the way. And then I, I kind of go off a little bit and then I come back and then I go off and then I come back and like, look, it's okay. Don't guilt yourself when that happens because if you're like me, I do that. You know, like right now I'm kind of like off a little bit and, and I was inspired to, to make this video because I started moving back towards him, right? So just seek him and continue to do that and he will continue to show you and reveal to you more knowledge, okay, more answers. Let's talk about provision, right? The Bible tells us that God provides for our every need. Think about that, our every need, and that he desires to do so abundantly. In Philippines 4.19 it says, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Jesus Christ. God is able to provide us anything, everything, anything. There's no limit to what he can give us. Like he is able to do that, duh. <laughs> so it's like, why do we doubt that? You know, how many times have things happened in your past? Let's say, you know, you thought you weren't gonna be able to come up with mortgage or rent or pay for groceries or whatever it may be, right? And then all of a sudden, something happens, something comes along and you're able to do that. Okay, so again, why do we doubt that? Focus on the times where things have worked out in the past and understand that they're going to continue to do that. All we have to do is see the abundance and have the faith and have the trust. And this one is actually one of my all-time favorite verses in the Bible. It's in uh, Matthew 6, 31 to 33. It says, therefore do not be anxious. Okay, what are we talking about? Worry, anxiety, overthinking. Do not be anxious saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? We don't need to worry. And it's so easy in our society to get swept up in that worry and in that anxiety and in that overthinking and of wondering like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do next? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna pay for that? He literally tells us to not do that. And let me tell you what, in my experience, the l and I come from a long background of worrying like a crazy person. When I was like 12, my mom would be like, you worry like a 40 year old, okay? 
And over the years, as I've worked on this consistently, it's kind of like a, um, a seesaw, right? Like, the more, you, the more you worry, the less that you can see the solution and the abundance and, and hear the wisdom. The less you worry, the clearer those things become, right? So if it's something that you work on consistently and that you, you pray about and that you seek wisdom and that assistance from God, the easier and easier and easier it'll get. Okay, the less you worry, the clearer the path is, the clearer the answer is. So if you can take away something from this, just realize the worry is almost always unnecessary. And it's, it's not going to get you anything, it's not going to get you anywhere, it's not going to solve the problem. Remind yourself that in those moments when you are having that fear and you are having that anxiety. Remind yourself to just breathe. And the more you can breathe and the calmer that you can stay, the easier the problem will be handled and solved. And while we're talking about this and, and, and getting more peaceful, let's, let's talk about the abundance of joy and peace that God gives us. You know, God desires for us to experience that peace and that joy even when we are in tough times, right? In Romans 15, 13, it says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. As I said, the less we worry and the more we trust and the more faith that we have in God that He's got everything worked out for us, the more peace will be filled in us. The more joy we can experience even when we are going through those turbulations, we are going through those problems. We we are struggling in whatever way, right? But the more that we can experience and feel and trust that God is looking out for us, the deeper that peace will go. You know, when we continue to walk with God and abide in his presence, we can experience the fullness, the, the grandness that he has given us in this life, okay? And yes, like I said earlier, monetarily, those things too. But let's not limit our view of abundance just on material items, okay? There is so much more abundance to experience in this world than just material things that don't even really matter at the end of the day. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hang out again next week. I do post videos like this every week. I love you guys so much, not nearly as much as God, but I still love you. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.